Welcome to Tech Working on Useful Japanese. Tech Working on Useful Japanese Phrase. Today's Japanese phrase is Ado Donburi ni Haiwa Ikende. Ado Donburi ni Haiwa Ikende. Which means I can have two more rice bowls. I can have two more rice bowls. Donburi ni Hai means two rice bowls. Ikende means I can have, so it's gonna be I can have two more rice bowls. Okay, when you feel so hungry and you wanna show off how much you can eat, you can just use these phrase. So, that's all about it today. See you tomorrow. Welcome to Takuaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when you can't tell the difference between puppies and chairs. The phrase is Kono isu wa wan chan desu ka? Which means, is this chair a puppy? Is this chair a puppy? Kono isu means this chair. Wan chan means puppy. So it's gonna be, is this chair a puppy? So, when you can't tell the difference between puppies and chairs, you can use this phrase. Kono isu wa ワンちゃんですか? So, that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoki on Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the phrase that you can use when you want to ask someone if your nails can save the world. The phrase is この爪で世界は救えますか? この爪で世界は救えますか? Which means, can these nails save the world? Can these nails save the world? Konotsume means these nails. Sekai means the world. Sku means save. So it's gonna be Can these nails save the world? So when you wanna ask someone if your nails can save the world or not, you can see this phrase. Konotsume de sekai wa sukuemasu ka? So that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takuaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is ボンネットの上でもいいから一回寝かせて Which means on the foot is fine So let me just sleep for a little On the foot is fine So let me just sleep for a little ボンネットの上でもいいから means on the foot is fine 一回 means for a little or something 寝かせて means let me sleep So when you feel very sleepy and you want to sleep even on the foot You can just use this phrase So that's all about it today See you tomorrow Welcome to Takoki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when you wanna pile up shoes. The one that you can use when you wanna pile up shoes. The phrase is. Ima kutsu kasanete ruto koene. Ima kutsu kasanete ruto koene. Which means, I'm piling up shoes now. I'm piling up shoes now. Ima means now. Kutsu means shoes. Kasaneteru means pile up. So it's gonna be I'm piling up shoes now. Okay, when you wanna pile up shoes, you can use this phrase. Ima kutsu kasaneteru to koene. So that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takuaki and Useful Japanese. Today's Japanese phrase is Kono pasokon yori ore no hoga atama encha. Which means I might be smarter than this computer. I might be smarter than this computer. Kono pasokon means this computer. Ore no hoga atama i means I am smarter than then chao means like might or probably or something. So it's gonna be I might be smarter than this computer. When you feel your computer is garbage and like doesn't work well, you might be able to use this one. このパソコンより俺の方が頭ええんじゃん. Okay, so that's all about it today. See you tomorrow. Welcome to Takoki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when someone loses his or her key. The phrase is この牛乳でその女王を開けられるかもしれません. この牛乳でその女王を開けられるかもしれません。Which means 
You might be able to open the lock with this milk. You might be able to open the lock with this milk. この牛乳で means with this milk. その錠 means the lock. 開けられるかもしれない means you might be able to open. So it's gonna be you might be able to open the lock with this milk. So when someone loses his or her key and if you want to help him or her, you might be able to use this one. この牛乳でその情を開けられるかもしれません。So that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when you want to say that your room is not bathroom. The phrase is ここはトイレではありません。私の寝室ですここはトイレでありません。私の寝室です。Which means this room is not bathroom. This is my bedroom. トイレ means toilet or bathroom or restroom. ではありません。means it's not. 私の寝室 means my bedroom. So it's gonna be this is not bathroom. This is my bedroom. When you want to say that your bedroom is not bathroom, is not toilet, you can use this phrase. この部屋はトイレではありません。私の寝室です。So, that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is 俺、うどん派のやつ信用できへんねんな。俺、うどん派のやつ信用できへんねんな。Which means, I can't trust people who prefer うどん。I can't trust people who prefer うどん。俺 means I。うどん派のやつ means those who prefer うどん。And 信用できへん means can't trust. So it's gonna be, I can't trust people who prefer うどん。So, うどん or そば、that is the, one of the most difficult questions in the world. If you really like soba and if you don't agree with people who prefer udon, you can use this phrase. So that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when you have to explain to an alien that you're a human being. Today's phrase is. 人間やらしてもてます人間やらしてもうてます。Which means I live as a human being. I live as a human being. 人間 means human being. やらしてもうてます means I live or I work. So it's gonna be I live as a human being. So when you have to explain that you're human being to an alien, you can use this phrase. 人間やらしてもうてます。That's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is. Ore, ame yo kete kaeru wa. Ore, ame yo kete kaeru wa. Which means, I go home dodging drops of rain. I go home dodging drops of rain. Kaeru wa means, I go home. Ame yo kete means, dodging drops of rain. So it's gonna be, I go home dodging drops of rain. When you forget bringing umbrella and If you can believe you can dodge drops of rain, you can use this phrase. So, that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when you think that your leg here might be helpful. The phrase is. Watashi no snake ga yaku ni tatsu kamo shirimasen. 私のすねぎが役に立つかもしれません。Which means my leg hair might be helpful. My leg hair might be helpful. 私のすねぎ means my leg hair. 役に立つ means helpful. かもしれません means might be. So it's gonna be my leg hair might be helpful. So when you think that your leg hair might be helpful, 
for something, for someone. You can use this phrase. 私のすね毛が役に立つかもしれません。So that's all about it today. See you in the next video. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's Japanese phrase is 俺歯磨くのめっちゃ早いで。俺歯磨くのめっちゃ早いで。Which means I can brush my teeth so quickly. I can brush my teeth so quickly. 歯磨く means brush teeth. めっちゃ早い means so quickly. So it's gonna be I can brush my teeth so quickly. Okay. So we need to show off how quickly you can brush your teeth. You can just use this phrase. 俺歯磨くのめっちゃ早いで。Okay. So that's all about it today. See you tomorrow. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's Japanese phrase is 中学の時めっちゃ飯食ってたけどな。中学の時めっちゃ飯食ってたけどな。Which means I used to eat a lot in my junior high. I used to eat a lot in my junior high. 中学の時 means in my junior high. めっちゃ飯食ってた means I used to eat a lot. So it's gonna be I used to eat a lot in my junior high. So when you let your friends know that you used to eat a lot, you can use this phrase. 俺中学の時めっちゃ飯食ってたけどな。Okay. So that's all about it today. See you tomorrow. Welcome to Takoaki and Useful Japanese. Today's phrase is the one that you can use when a friend says that he or she wants your backbone for his or her birthday. When a friend said that she or he wants your backbone for his or her birthday. The phrase is. Sebone wa kanben shite na. Sebone wa kanben shite na. Which means. Accept my backbone, please. Accept my backbone, please. Sebone means backbone. Kanben shite na means please don't or accept, please. So it's gonna be accept my backbone, please. So when a friend said that he or she wants your backbone for his birthday, for her birthday, you can use this phrase. Sebone wa kanben shite na. That's all about it today. See you in the next video.